the bank is going to give you information on how the borrowing base is going to be calculated. And the borrowing base can be made up of a variety of things. It could be made up of a certain amount of qualifying accounts receivable. Uh, it can also be made up of a certain amount of uh, inventory uh, and inventory levels. So basically what the bank is looking is it's a measure of collateral. And so if I've got a typically average a million dollars worth of accounts receivable, well, the bank's going to say, okay, well, I want your accounts receivable report, but we're going to exclude any accounts receivable that's over 90 days. So then now I've got, instead of a million, I've got 750,000 that is uh, newer than 90 days. And then the bank will also have a requirement. You can't have more than 20 or 30 or 40 percent with uh, one particular uh, customer or client. So they'll exclude that as well. And then whatever's left over makes up the, uh, the amount of your borrowing base that is uh, covered by accounts receivable. Mm -hmm.